everyone and welcome back to another video. In this one, I'm going to be checking out one of the rarest reactive camos here in Black Ops 4. Now that's the thing guys, of course if you are wondering, the reactive camo that I am talking about is the plasma drive camo that was originally for the K57 assault rifle here in Black Ops 4. Now of course if you guys didn't already know, how you got your hands originally on this particular camo was by making it up to tier 20 of Operation Absolute Zero. And of course that particular operation ended in early February of 2019, so that means at the time of making this video, it's been a good couple months since you were able to unlock that particular camo. So with that in mind, yesterday at the time of making this video, there was a brand new bundle being added into the game, which is of course the Plasma Drive bundle, where you are going to be getting this particular camo alongside four reserve crates. So that's what come what I'm going to be doing in this video, is checking out the camo and using it on a couple of creative classes. So for our first class setup, we are going to be using a very tried and true class for the Maddox Assault Rifle, and I'm not going to lie, this is a really awesome some class setup and of course for our first attachment we are going to be using elo double quick draw as well as stock another class setup that we are going to be using is with the vapor assault rifle with the elo sight fast mags long barrel as well as rapid fire and our final class setup that we are going to be using in this video is actually a sniper class setup so yes i'm going to be trying my hand at sniping where of course as you can see we are going to be using the base variant of the koshka sniper rifle and our attachments are going to be quick draw one as well as two with fast mags as well as high caliber which that's the thing about a week and a half ago the time me making this video i was playing black ops 4 and i want to go ahead and switch it up a little bit so i tried sniping and i'm not gonna lie this particular class setup over here is a lot of fun to use as well as if you guys haven't already seen the stages of this particular reactive camo this is of course what it looks like at the start of the game then of course once you get one kill two kills as well as three kills which i'm not gonna lie this is a really cool reactive camo in my opinion and i really do enjoy using it also guys if you go on to enjoy this video make sure you go ahead and leave a like on it down below let's go ahead and see if we can break 10 likes on this video that'd be absolutely amazing so yeah guys now that i got the intro out of the way i will see you when i join up into my first game all right guys so of course as you can see we are going to be joining up into our first game and this time we are going to be playing a game of standard tdm here on nuketown now that's the thing of course the first class setup that i am going to be using in this particular game is going to be the maddox class setup now that's the thing there we go, that's our first kill. The Maddox is one of my favorite assault rifles in this game. It's very consistent as well as very powerful. And one awesome thing about the Maddox, and that is it's very versatile, being that in a lot of cases, it acts a little bit like a submachine gun, so that means you can effectively take out enemies at close range with it. And there we go, that's another kill. And that's going to be coming in extremely useful, especially since we are going to be playing on Nuketown. And starting off this particular game, we are doing pretty decent. Currently going 2 on 1, which isn't really too bad for starting off a particular game. And there we go, that's another kill. And it looks like they're all going to be over here. However, I'm just going to get around that. And there's another one. Let's go ahead and reload because we're currently almost out of ammunition. And there's one. And there's currently another person over here. And alright, my teammate took him out. And there's one. It looks like there's another person in this garage over here. Took him out. And now we just got UAV as well as counter UAV. So let's go ahead and throw them up. Let's go ahead and give my teammates a little bit more health. And there's another person over here. Alright, there we go. We just got the sniper's nest. And there's another kill. Let's go ahead and call it in. However, wait a second. There we go. That's another one. Currently going 13 and 3, which is pretty decent in my opinion. And we're currently on the Merciless, okay. Let's go ahead and throw this down as well. So it looks like the spawns did end up flipping. And there's one. It looks like there are going to be a couple more people over here. And there's one person over here. And my sniper's nest took him out, okay. And yeah, guys, if you would like to, feel free to comment down below what are your thoughts on this particular reactive camo? Because that's the thing. In my opinion, it's actually one of my favorite reactive camos in the game. It's very intricate as well. As it is very detailed and colorful. So overall... I'm a big fan of this particular camo, however, if you guys would like to, feel free to comment down below what are your thoughts on it. Alright, now it does look like the spawns did end up flipping again, and there might be a person over here. And alright, my sniper's nest took him out, and we just got another UAV as well, as we're currently getting pretty close to our attack 5. So let's go ahead and give my teammates a little bit more health. There's another kill. As well as another one. I suppose another one. And there's another sniper's nest. Okay, let's go ahead and call it in. And that's the thing. They might be on the other side of the map. However, chances are they are going to be spawning over here because the spawns did end up flipping again. My sniper's nest is getting quite a few kills. Okay, that's pretty awesome. 
and there's another one, as well as the Count UAV. As well as another one, currently on the Merciless, okay. That's of course the second Merciless of the game, and of course attack 5, and we got another Sniper's Nest, oh my goodness. I'm at and there's another two. And it looks like there might be another person over here. However, we have to get around this. And there we go, guys. So, of course, that is going to be our first game. And we're going 46 and 4. Really awesome game, in my opinion. And we completely blew the enemy team right out of the water, being that we won with 100 points and the enemy team only had a combined total of 20 kills. So, yeah, guys, that's, of course, going to be our first game. And I'll see you guys in game number two. All right, guys. So, of course, as you can see, we are going to be joining up into our second game. And this time, we are going to be playing a game of standard TDM here on Seaside. And, of course, as you can see, we are going to be using the Koshia Sniper Rifle, and Wait. there we go, that's our first kill. And this is the first time that I ever made a video on Black Ops 4 where I was sniping, so with that in mind, let's go ahead and see exactly how well we can do, and not gonna lie, Seaside is actually a pretty decent map to be using the Koshka. and there's another kill. As well as another one, okay. So starting off this particular game, we are doing pretty decent. Shoot up. Enemy. Tango down. Alright guys, so of course, as you can see, we are going to be joining up into our third game, but this time, we are going to be playing a game of standard TDM here on Hacienda. Now that's the thing. Of course, as you can see, I am going to be using the Koshka again. Wait a second, there are three of my teammates over here that are AFK, oh my goodness. And alright, there we go, that's our first kill. And there's another one. And yeah, guys, something that's pretty crazy, and that is how much reactive camos have changed ever since Black Ops 4 originally released, being that... Well, there's another kill. When Black Ops 4 originally released in October of 2018, reactive camos as well as Mastercraft camos were a lot different, being that where you got a Mark II variation, a Mastercraft camo, as well as the reactive camo. If you want to use the reactive camo, you had to complete a challenge to then unlock that particular camo, and once you did end up doing that, you could only use that reactive camo on one weapon, which was the weapon that the camo was for. For example, this particular camo over here was originally for the K57 assault rifle, so... That means that in Black Ops 4, when they originally released, you could only use this particular reactive camo on the KM57. However, then Treyarch decided to change it so that way you could use any reactive camo on any weapon as long as you had gold camo on that particular weapon, which at that time, I already had dark matter camo, so that means I had gold camo on every single weapon in the game. So naturally, I did really enjoy that particular change. And then a little bit later, the reactive camos got changed again. So now in the current state of Black Ops 4, you can use any reactive reactive camo on any weapon. It doesn't matter if you do have gold camo on that weapon or not. And all right, there's another person over here. And there we go, took him out with the headshot for the final kill of the game. So of course, guys, that's going to be our third game. I'm going 20 and 9, which is pretty decent in my opinion, at least for using a sniper rifle. So yeah, guys, that's of course going to be our third game. I will see you guys in game number four. All right, guys. So of course, as you can see, we are going to be joining up into our fourth game. And this time we are going to be playing a game of standard TDM here on Gridlock. And of course, as you can see, I am going to be using the third class setup, which of course is a class with the vapor assault rifle. And... There we go, that's a triple kill, okay. As well as another one. So starting off this particular game, we are doing pretty decent, picking up a fury kill, which of course I will definitely take that. And I'm not gonna lie, this particular reactive camo looks really awesome on the vapor assault rifle. And wait a second. There's one. As well as another one. Let's go ahead and call on this UAV as well as counter. And also, guys, something that's pretty interesting, and that's yesterday at the time me making this video, Treyarch did something that was pretty awesome, being that if you do have the Black Ops Pass, first of all, you did get five reserve crates as well. No. As people that do have the Black Ops Pass also got two times tier boost. So that means if you do have the Black Ops Pass, you are going to be earning tiers twice as fast until May 28th, which... I'm not gonna lie, that's pretty awesome in my opinion, and definitely a step in the right direction when it comes to the Black Ops Pass. Alright guys, so of course that's where I'm gonna be ending off this video, I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, don't forget to leave a like on it down below as well, as make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you guys will not miss new upload from me. So yeah, that's of course gonna be it for this video, I hope to see you in the next one.